next news story, which is another Will Driven uh, brought up thing, uh, Will, talk to me a little bit about the Switch Lite and the previews of this system. I'm going to go to a Google image search of Switch Lite so we can see what we're talking about here. Um, we can we can do it. Yeah, Kevin, why so quiet, Kevin? Why so quiet, friend of the show, Kev? Come on, Kevin. <laughs> so, uh, last week, Nintendo flew out a bunch of uh, influencers and let them try out the Switch Lite. And we've got a bunch of previews coming out. The embargo's been lifted. A bunch of uh, comparison pictures, so you can like see how big it is compared to the OG Switch. And like, yeah. Game Explained a video of like comparing it to like the original Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance. I guess they just showed up at the, the press event with a bunch of old handhelds. Yeah. And were like, hey, we're just going to record some size comparisons. Is that cool? But I'm glad they did it because it, it actually, I don't know, Keith, I, I don't need it at all. I do not need it at all. No one does. But if I woke up tomorrow, if I woke up tomorrow and had $200 under my pillow, <laughs> I might pre-order one because they just, I don't know. It really gives me that old school, like game, the original Game Boy Advance, like not the, the SP. The I'm with you. One. I'm absolutely with you. That's it. That's the shape. You're, yeah, it reminds me of that. And also, apparently, the buttons on it, like the, the face buttons, the X, Y, A, B, yeah, look, they're, they're not clicky like the Joy-Cons are. They're more like the Pro Controller. Oh, dude. So they're like kind of, kind we of need smushy. that. We need yeah, that. It, everything about how it feels, it just reminds me of like a GBA with like, it seems like it would have the, the texture of like a DS Lite or something. So, yeah. This I don't is, know. It just seems really nice. This is the thing for me. D-pad looks wonderful. Buttons look great. Uh, again, I'm with you. If I had $200 under my pillow tomorrow and I didn't have anything else to do with it, uh, yeah, maybe switch light for me. I think that would be really cool. Um, what makes me sad, though, is that I, I won't have... The, I mean, maybe one day they'll come out with Joy-Cons with buttons that are very similar to these, but I'm, mm-hmm. I'm almost at my wits end with those Joy-Con buttons, dude. I got Joy-Con drift on my left Joy-Con. I ordered a new left Joy-Con. No more drift, but on the right side, the B button is kind of weirdly sticky on my new ones. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I'm Mine s- are actually... Oh, sorry. No, you go ahead. I'm just. I was about to say I'm sad. Oh, yeah. Mine are um, not only drifting now, but every Joy-Con I have, it's either drifting or the buttons are just not being extremely responsive. Mm. I don't even know if that's included under the drift problems or if I've just discovered a new problem with the joy cons but like i'm sitting there playing smash and my eight my dashes aren't registering man and there's nothing more frustrating dear god than running into someone <laughs> will i <laughs> like say running right into them <laughs> like i should be doing a dash but i'm not will i say so, dear god I, I i pray this prayer over your joy cons this day <laughs> please lord put the spirit back yeah. in these cons um, real That's quick, saying, Ke- Kevin says he had to fix his smart TV. He's watching the stream on. I think I fix it. It's a big old 55 inch. My man got that 55 inch. You know what I'm saying? How many hey, different? We're on TV. Or Keith, we're on TV. Woohoo! It's our first time. <laughs> Except for the times I watch our videos on TV. <laughs> like a fool. Yeah. Um, Shadow Link says, How many different versions of the Switch do you think there will be? That's a good question for us. How many different, will, how many different versions of the Switch do you think will come out? He says there were like 5DS and 3. 3ds or 5ds and 3ds versions um are they are they grabbing cash how many versions are we going to get uh kevin says he keeps losing his wi-fi for a second but then he gets it right back and that's what kevin does because he's a friend of the show he takes care of things oh yeah but that question how many for you versions will... of the switch do i think we'll see well are we counting the new increased battery life one as a new model i don't think we are are we I I want to I want to you know yeah clarify and say it's only a new model if it has a new name. Okay. Um, I can definitely see us getting at least one more guaranteed, like some kind of mid generational upgrade. Sure. Um, I don't think we necessarily need one. I mean, maybe maybe out my my tune will be different in a few years, but um, uh, I can see them doing that. Um, because they did that with the 3ds even. Um, which I think that's the first time Nintendo has ever done like an actual hardware upgrade within a generation yeah but i can definitely see them doing it especially to compete with the ps5 and xbox next year um i i can totally see them launching like breath of the wild 2 with like a switch pro yeah um i have to agree with you on that i think i think the big pro is coming i think something with some more power 
Uh, I think something that can run things a little bit quicker, a little bit prettier is coming just because I think, you know, we, we got gen, the, the new generation coming up uh, and I think they're going to have to keep up in some way. I think people have been spoiled by frame rates and, and graphics and stuff and eventually, eventually I think it just won't do it. I f- eventually everything Nintendo does has got to look like Mario and it's got to be HD, I think, like Mario Odyssey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's got to look yeah. that good. Um, that's my opinion. So, real quick, so you would say favorable opinions, maybe we'll get a Switch you or you Switch. So, you're, you're, th- you're, well, you're saying favorable opinions are coming out on the Switch Lite, um, despite the mm-hmm. fact that it, it does, it is a seemingly superfluous thing. It's a seeming, it's a thing that seems like, well, it's nothing that anyone really needs to have uh, because, you know, the Switch is already portable. It's just like, hey, yeah. if you only want the portability, maybe you're a parent and you only want your kid to have the portability, there's no reason to have it on the TV. They don't care about having it on the TV. But even the fact that it's kind of a superfluous extra thing at every at you know every turn, favorable reception. Yeah. Um, yeah. For what it is, reception is, uh, is very high. Yeah. It, it kind of reminds me, I was thinking this earlier, it kind of reminds me of like the Game Boy Micro. Do you, do you even remember that, Keith? A lot of, I, I forgot about it for a while. Do you remember the Game Boy Micro? No. I don't. It was a, after the DS came out, they released a really tiny Game Boy Advance called the Game Boy Micro. Is it this? Is it this thing? I can't see it. The screen's a little bit behind. Oh. But it's... But, um, it's like a rectangle. Yeah, is it this thing? Yeah, 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 that is it. That is it. And it was a GBA, it was way tinier, and they removed a really big feature from the other models, which was backwards compatibility, so you couldn't play, like, your Game Boy Game Boy Color games on. Oh, no. Yeah, so it, it kind of reminds me of that in a way. Okay. I'm a fan of it. I think it's, I'm, I'm happy it's out there. They might as well make another one. They might as well make some more money. Um, yeah. I was going to say something a little bit earlier, but I can't remember exactly what it was now. Shadow Links. I want to say I completely agree with Shadow Links. I don't quite get frame rates either. I You can tell me something's this many frames, and I, I, I can't really discern any I th- difference. I think once you get to a certain level going up, it becomes almost indis- undiscernible. Like if someone tells you, like, I can tell the difference between 150 and 155 frames. Like you can tell them to go take a hike because yeah. you're stupid. But mm-hmm. if someone tells you, like, oh no, 60 looks a lot better than 30, I agree. 60 frames per second looks better. Than- it just looks so much smoother. Um, it's not something I can really describe well, uh, but it's just like I know yeah. it when I see it. Um, but I couldn't tell you, like, oh, this is 60 and this is 45 and this is 30. But I might be able to pick out a 60 and a 30 <clears throat> just to look at them. Yeah. Um, the PlayStation 4 base one only does 30. So I don't know, Shadow Links, what you're playing God of War on, but I, I don't have a pro. So I'm playing playing on 30 frames per second. It looked kind of like you were playing on 30 frames, but I don't know. I don't know if you have a pro or not. Um, but once you get down in the 20s, you're going to notice. Or down in the, of course, like 10s, you're going to notice these things. Um, but I don't think the switch ever drops below thirty, unless you have like some lag or whatever, like some 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 real chugging. Yeah, if I'm ever playing like an N64 game, I can definitely be like, yeah, this frame rate is lower. Yeah. <laughs> than uh, what I'm used to, but <clears throat> thirty sixty is kind of hard for me to tell somebody. Oh, this is what I wanted to mention earlier. You mentioned the new Switch model that has the new card in it, the new processor. That's going to give, yeah. new, if you buy a Switch now and it comes in a red box, it's going to have like twice the battery life, right, of another of an older Switch. Um, is it just because we're, like, I'm an adult and we're adults and we tune into these kind of things, we're interested, or is, or is the gaming industry come to a point where they have to notify us of these things, like people care? Do you think there was ever a time when that wasn't a big deal, like we're just happy to get games, but now... You know, gaming news. That, well, they put a new processor in a product that's already exists. They're not renaming it. Like some backdoor shady thing happened, so we found out about the processor thing early. It just seems almost crazy to me that this is that we think about this. That this is news. That like we're we're, we're going to freak out over this a component that is going in a gaming console. Whereas most of the time, I'm just like, I want new game. Please let me play. Yeah, I think it's. Nintendo comes out and says stuff like that now because they know that like the the gaming news industry is so ravenous now that like we're gonna find out anyways. Um, so they just kind of want to like officially put it out there, sure. And so it's coming from the horse's mouth. 
because you know game explain would have found out immediately whenever right. uh if they just tried to slip it into stores right yeah so. absolutely that's true yeah it just seems crazy yeah. to me it seems crazy to me that we're that we're talking about it it seems crazy to me that it's a it's a thing that you know i've got a coworker that follows nintendo he's like he's like a hawk on nintendo um and like you know five minutes after they announced this new card you go our new new uh processor going into the switches he's like hey dude did you hear about this i'm like actually yeah like even someone who doesn't care i've heard about it because i'm on twitter and i yeah. see this or whatever i uh, said so yeah i actually have heard about it and you know like the next day or the the day that they hit the shelves like he's in gamestop he's in best buy trying to get one i don't care about it that much i'm interested that it's a thing yeah um he did get one yeah he, he does have one. Oh, nice that man nice. is ravenous he is nintendo rabid dude he is absolutely and no pun intended considering you know mario rabbits and the rabbits on nintendo <laughs> yes i agree with shadow yeah that's why i think we need to lay off sword and shield it's gonna be fun you guys it's gonna be fun whoa 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 let's calm down will let's calm down with, with hot takes like that uh kevin kevin says about 50 155 grams you need a high refresh rate monitor to see the difference i've heard and current consoles only show 60 frames max and need pc to see more oh yeah absolutely pc is going to push you over the limits eventually but of, and that's the whole thing is that you know we talk about consoles but monitors also need to keep up like my monitors aren't going to show me 150 frames per second or whatever yeah. my also my graphic card graphics card isn't going to push that far either though it is i think kind of beefy I don't know. But we're leaving the Nintendo Switch Lite. Um, is there anything else you want to discuss about this this cute little system that really does look adorable here on the stream? You good Just to go? That Santa Claus needs to bring me one. That's yeah, man. All. Also, Will, uh, everyone, don't tell Will, but I did slip $200 under his pillow uh, for tonight, so... He'll be getting that new Nintendo Switch Lite tomorrow, and he won't know who to thank. But don't tell him. Did you say something just now? No, I, I the wind blew through my room here. I think my I think Lizzie turned on a fan, and it might have made okay. some noise. So okay. Other than that, you yeah. know. Make sure you correct that ambient noise. I absolutely will. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Uh, yeah, but based on what I just told you about that gift that I was giving to someone that we were talking about, I'm gonna need that money replenished. So if you guys could slide that under my pillow, that'd be great.